Unfortunately, some of the footage got horribly corrupted, so enjoy this next episode in the middle of the episode. Just in case, either welcome back or we're back. Um, I don't know where the fucking recording stopped. Uh, but we're doing points now. Hell yeah. We want more money, eh? And do we just want more and more money, eh? Uh. Might as well. I, I feel like that's a good investment. Yeah. More and more money, eh? Oh, we got garden stuff. What does price negotiation do? There's uh, a new tab. Oh, well. I'm assuming we could just, instead of just being like, yeah, we'll do it, you could be like, we'll do it for this much. Uh, increased plant placing speed. Uh, uh, grass trimmer 2019. <laughs> specifically the 2019 one. Um, I guess if you want to upgrade your equipment. Uh, tall grass visible, you want. And we'll increase the range. Okay. Let me paint my grass. <laughs> there we go. I should refill the paint roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I remember what we were doing. Oh, yeah, we were trying to see if we could buy a uh, mower. Yeah. If we could buy a lawn mower. What would that be under? Furniture? No, uh, f uh. Definitely none of those. Electronic equipment? Maybe. No, I think that's like. Oh, uh, that's just like actual, like. Ah, oh, yes. Well, we can buy a gaming. Hell set. yeah! <laughs> we, we can buy a pinball machine! Is it playable? I don't know. It's $3,000. There's an arcade machine for 30 We can what? Bro, we can buy a streamer set up. We can buy a ceiling fan. We could. <laughs> gaming PC. I think that's a little low for the price. Uh, this game was made years ago, don't worry. It's fine. I go to the... Yeah. If I had to guess... Farming! It would be in there farming. Oh my god, can we actually grow things? I guess so. I guess maybe not that. Other? Well, maybe it's in... Oh! Him. <laughs> I guess we... Ah, yeah! We need to buy a truck here? Uh... Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can't search anything. Ha ha. Uh, we can buy a go kart. We can buy a go kart. And a wooden fan, Pedro. He made it special. <laughs> only, you can only buy that if your name is Pedro. Yeah. So there's not a lawnmower here. So go back in farming. Farming? Isn't that where we are? No, no, we're in Heather. Uh, so let's go like down more. There we go. It, it didn't scroll before, so I thought that was all there was. Uh, maybe there's just not a lot more. You buy pro painting. I could buy fence. The fence is actually look really nice. All right. Well, I guess just cut up your cut up the lawn with the thing. Yeah. Early, I'm sure eventually we'll be able to. Maybe it's something we have to unlock as well. Oh, look at that increased radius. I think. Yeah. I'm just glad there's no, like, streaks or anything. What or, do you like, mean? Uh, like, you know how, like, when you mow the lawn, there'll be lines because of the wheels and shit? Oh, yeah. I'm just glad there's none of that with this. This is very true. Oh, uh, sorry, the immovable plant. My <laughs> bad. Yeah, you should know, buddy. You planted a thing. I feel like this is a game I could play on stream for like hours, just like yeah, me decorating too. my house. I'm 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 gonna assume that these are just gonna be longer episodes in general, just yeah. because it's like, otherwise it's like we do one house, that's the episode, goodbye. Yeah. But see, this this game might be for me what I wanted uh, American Truck Simulator to be, where it's like. Obviously, yeah. we're not like, wow, look at this grass! Yeah, we're, we're just talking started. about random shit, and then this is happening in the background. Speaking of random shit, I was, I was talking to Speaking you... Speaking of random shit... <laughs> I was talking to you about stupid hypotheticals. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Do you have uh, another one? Uh, Didn't we do that in an episode? I think so. So Wasn't it, that like Pokemon? Was it in Pokemon? I think so. I think it was in, in uh, Scarlet or Violet or whatever one. Yeah, whichever one we're playing. Um... And just for full disclosure, obviously, I know that, like, you know, we're not 
the channel to think of hypotheticals. Um, I even, like, I make the joke all the time. Uh, first off, we're very obvious Game Grumps rip off, but also I watch, like, Oni plays and shit, which is where I get the hypothetical ideas from. And if I can help it, most of them are really funny. I'll try not to use theirs. Um, but I will say... Uh, hold on, let me... There was a hypothetical that I thought of, which I wanted to share with okay. you. This is the one that you already know. Um, oh, I do? This is the the backspace one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I was thinking... I was like, what if we asked these to chat GPT? Um, and I had asked it. I was like, what would you do? What is that? <laughs> I found my shower. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> When did you get here? What? <laughs> Go away. Oh. oh. It's stuck? <laughs> Goodbye, shower. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Why was that there? I have no... I'm crying! I have no fucking... <laughs> Dude, I had no idea. What, did you hear me when you first... I was like, what is that? I was like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, was, my God. <laughs> because I walked into it. I was like, this wasn't here before. I was thought I was it? like, is that some kind of like weird shed? I thought it was like a wheelbarrow like standing upwards or yeah. something. I was like, oh, cool. I got a bird bath. I Wait, got a bird No, it's a people bath. I am the bird. <laughs> I am big bird. <laughs> so like, what... Oh, my God. So what was your hypothetical? Oh, yeah, yeah. The hypothetical. It was... um, And feel free to answer this in the comments if you want. But it was, um, what would you do if, you know, you're just sitting at your computer, everything else is normal, but every time you hit the backspace button, your, um, your computer would scream at you at, like, 120 decibels. Like, you'd just go like, ah! Like, you know, and it'd be for half a second. And, and that's it. And as a bonus, it's no matter what computer you press backspace on, which, like, but it was always your computer. Like, if I went over to, like, Ryan's house or something, and I press backspace on his PC, I would, like, my computer would become sentient, get up and run at me at, like, 100 miles an hour until it gets to me, just to scream, and then it would... Oh, so it wouldn't even be my computer. No, that... no matter what, it's my computer, and it will find its way to me somehow, just to scream. Um, and so I asked ChatGPT what it would do, and it gave me, like, a fucking 20-step plan for what it would do. And my final, the, my favorite part is the final step, where it says that it would just mentally <laughs> prepare for the scream. It says, I would mentally prepare and brace myself, knowing that it would only be over in half a second. <laughs> he just accepted his fate. <laughs> but my favorite part of that is that immediately, like, it was like, you know what? I've got a hypothetical for you. I didn't, I didn't even think I asked. It was like, I've got one for you. What would you do if every time you blinked, something within 10 feet of you disappeared forever? And I was like, does that include people? And it's like, yeah. Yeah, no people. <laughs> I told him I'd gouge my eyes out. <laughs> and then every time I answered, it's like, okay, cool. Here's another one. <laughs> it says, here's another fucked up hypothetical. That's what it actually says. <laughs> but I'm trying to think of funny hypotheticals. I don't want to. I don't want to do the ones. Right, here, I'll ask them the one I asked you. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, what would y'all do if every wait? Yeah, if every single time you willingly lie. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, avoiding non-willing lies. Yeah, like you can't say things that you don't know whether or not they're like you can't be like the cure for cancer is this and like, yeah. If every time you willingly lied, uh, a cat would come onto your property and refuse to leave. However, uh, depending on the severity of said lie, the cat gets bigger. <laughs> so if you're like, you know, if you're like, did you take a cookie from the cookie jar? You'd be like, no. no it's like, you get like a kitten. But it, then it's like, did you actually cause the death of these 30 people? No. <laughs> <laughs> and they refuse to leave. Yeah, see, and, and I know You have to care for them now. I, I know immediately people are like, oh, that's not so bad, I like cats. But it's like... Every time. Do I have, yeah, it's every single time. And, like, even if it's, like, joking lies, like, you're still willingly lying. Yeah. And I, I, I told Ryan, I was like, I would go out of my way to make, like, the biggest, like... I would get in a scandal to, like, just get in the biggest lie possible 
and have a giant fucking cat. And then probably try to never lie again after that. <laughs> and use it to conquer cities. <laughs> Are you going to use it to conquer cities? No. Ah. Mr. Pre <laughs> Mr. President, there's been a second giant cat. <laughs> oh my god. I don't like our mode one. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, at least there is no <laughs> There's no shower anymore <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's not perfect, but it's good enough It's it's pretty good, actually I mean, the spots are gonna bother me literally forever But, you know, other than that it's pretty Oh, thank you <laughs> oh, good thing There's I one behind you There's one behind you oh, I thought that would just go back to To the left To the left? To the, to the, right there Thank you <laughs> but uh yeah so that's a funny funny hypothetical hold on let me i'll tell you what live i was just say live on the podcast live on the i mean it's a podcast plus yeah um let me ask chat gpt some more hypotheticals i got this oh, point oh shit really yeah for gardening <laughs> Hold on. Um. Oh, here, here's one that it gave me, and I didn't even read this yet. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot the fucking thing that I said. It's um, cause that's that's where you got the lie thing. Yeah. Uh, a hypothetical would ask me is every time you lie, a random person in the world permanently loses one of their senses, <laughs> and you have no idea. Like it's random. So I told him, I was like, there's 8 billion people in the world times times five senses. I'll be fine. I'll keep lying. Hell yeah. <laughs> and it told me it was a pragmatic but morally complex solution. All right. So, Ryan, I'm going to ask you this live. Okay. All right. This is the first time I'm reading this. Imagine that every time you eat food, you randomly experience the last moments of a person who died while eating the same type of food. <laughs> The experience is vivid and feels incredibly real, complete with their emotions, pain, and thoughts. This happens no matter what or where you eat, <laughs> as long as the food matches what someone ate during their final moments. Oh my god! <laughs> How would you navigate this situation? Would you avoid certain foods, try to find a way to manage these intense experiences, or attempt something else entirely? How would this impact your relationship with food in your daily life? Wait, so I feel the pain? Yeah, you feel everything. You basically die every time you eat anything. I there's, I don't think there's like any foods. You have to invent something. You'd have to eat like- Or I, unless I find a food where it's like- No one's ever died it, eating this? No, or it's like, I mean, obviously because they're dying, you know, it's gonna suck. Yeah. But where it's like not terrible. What if it was like, I would want to get something where they died instantly. Or that, yeah. Yeah, like if, if I eat like vanilla ice cream and then it's someone getting shot in the head, that's, I literally wouldn't feel anything. Wait, wait, is it one person per food or is it one random person? You randomly experience the moments of a, of a person who died while eating that same food. So it could be a different person every time. It could also hypothetically be the same person. Oh my God, that's... I'm telling you'd have to invent foods. Like you would have yeah. to... Like, literally, it'd be like, oh, I'm eating meatloaf with Cheerios and bananas inside of it. And, like, no one's ever eaten that. <laughs> Even to, like, destroy your taste buds. I, I would invent new foods to avoid this, if possible. Give me another really messed up <laughs> hypothetical with... A lot of moral decisions. All right, let's see. Here's a deeply messed up and complex hypothetical <laughs> cool. with moral implications. Okay, Ryan. Imagine you discover that you have a unique ability. Okay. You can heal any injury or cure any illness by touching someone. However, for, <laughs> for each person you heal, a random person somewhere else in the world will suffer a severe injury or life-threatening illness in return. Severity of what happens to the other person is proportional to the severity of the ailment you heal. Oh, so it's like... Yeah, well, would, you, would you, like, tell people that that's, like, a consequence of healing them? Would you just not do it? You're just giving it to someone else randomly. What if you give it to someone evil, though? You know? 
Uh, what if you give it to someone well, who's I think, I think, like, very minor things is fine. You know, someone like, you know, the cut or whatever. You know. Yeah, some... but you're just going to, like, give someone a paper cut? Yeah, it's like, that's not bad. But it's like... Heal my cancer. I mean, as much as I should technically be doing it and, you know, being like, oh, you have cancer. Let me cure that. Yeah. I'd have to be like... Well, if, yeah, if you cure it, then someone else random gets cancer. What exactly. If you, what if you do that and then, like, like Ryan Reynolds gets cancer, like, right after you do it? Well, then you would just... I would just... If it was anyone famous or important, I would just go around healing them until it's, like, someone random that doesn't matter. It's like, oh, I've, I've selected you to die this episode. This episode. Uh... I... Would heal people very sparingly. Ah, uh, Han, give me another one. Make it funny and also terrible morally. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh shit, I think I accidentally fucked up chat GPT. Yeah, he said, okay, here's a funny yet. That is so much more blue than I thought. Actually, it's not that bad. Oh, though. actually, I like it. Can I delete this? This is the episode where we fix up our house. <laughs> yes. While I literally don't pay attention at all. Correct. While reading this. Here's a darkly humorous and morally challenging hypothetical for you. I like how I'm painting right over tile. <laughs> all right, Ryan. What? Imagine that every time you tell a joke that makes someone laugh, a random... What the fuck? A random beloved historical figure. I love how they said beloved. <laughs> so like, yeah. Not Hitler. Uh, a I random remember, beloved so historical figure is brought back to life, but in a random location and time period. For example, you might tell a joke today, and suddenly Julius Caesar appears in modern Tokyo, or Marie Curie shows up in ancient Egypt. What the fuck? I want a different one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the first sentence. Imagine you have a magical refrigerator. <laughs> right, every time you open it, it provides the exact food or drink you're craving, perfectly prepared. However, each item you take, a random person somewhere in the world gets an intense, uncontrollable craving for the same item. They <laughs> you literally turn into like a ravenous person. <laughs> well, what would you do? <laughs> Would you use the would you use the refrigerator? Wait, so what is it again? So you get whatever item you want from the refrigerator. Okay. The exact food or drink you're craving, perfectly prepared. But whatever you get, someone random in the world uncontrollably craves it and goes through like liter they will do literally anything to get this. I would just fucking do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's not that bad. Like I don't care. They're not killing people. I I, I mean I'm not killing people, they are. <laughs> Exactly, so it's like... <laughs> what did it do this Imagine you have a magical toilet in your home. Every time you flush yeah, it... Yeah, what do you think this is? <laughs> every time you flush that toilet right there, you get $10,000 in cash. However, each flush causes a random person somewhere in the world to suddenly and uncontrollably poop their pants in a very public and embarrassing location. Would you use the toilet for financial- uh, Dude, I don't think I'd physically stop pressing that button. Uh, that is so fucking funny. What would you do? What is it? So you get 10k every time you flush your toilet. Okay, but, but... someone random in the world shits themselves in a public location. That's fine. That's really funny. That's, yeah, that's fine. That's so fucking funny. I would do that. Uh, that is literally not bad whatsoever. <laughs> Oh god, wait. Huh, that's a... Well, I would just... Hmm. Alright, imagine you have a magical remote control that can pause, rewind, or fast forward time. But every time you use it, a random embarrassing secret from your past gets broadcast to everyone in a hundred meter radius of you. Well, like, if you go- if you use it to go to the past... Like, when does it get broadcast? Yeah. If you use it to go to the past, won't they just not know the secret? These are weird hypotheticals. I don't like that one. Uh. Oh, you already asked me this. I 
did? No, no. <laughs> yeah, it wrote the exact question. No. Uh. Oh. There's no downside to this. All right, Ryan, this one is made for you. It's weird. It's weird that I said that you wrote this one and then it gave me one about cats. All right, but imagine you wake up one day with the ability to perfectly control the minds of cats. You can make any cat do anything you want from mundane tasks to elaborate schemes. Okay. However, every time you use this power, a random person somewhere in the world will uncontrollably start meowing like a cat for an entire hour, no matter where they are or what they're doing. This could happen to anyone, including world leaders, celebrities, or your own family members. Wait, so what's the beginning word? So you can you can just control cats. Like I, you, I am the cat controller? You are the cat controller, but every time you use your power, someone random in the world starts meowing for an I'm hour. I'm going to the animal shelter, controlling as many cats as possible. <laughs> Imagine- As yeah, many as I can control. It says world leaders as like as like one of the examples of who <laughs> yeah, it could control. You just see fucking- <laughs> Now I was thinking. <laughs> That's what I was doing. I'm telling Sleepy Joe. The American economy is gonna. Oh, look at look at look at old old Joe old uh, Trump over there. He can't even control his such. Meow meow meow. Hi, welcome to Five Guys Burks and Fries. How may I? <laughs> Doctor, we're performing invasive open heart surgery. I need you to tell me what to do. <laughs> Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> it says meow uncontrollably. So like they meow no matter what. But imagine you like, uh, yeah. so it's like he tries to communicate with him like, Doctor, meow if I should rip his heart out. <laughs> While you're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> This is such a stupid hypothetical. Yeah. This is, come on, give me, give me a better one. Alright, uh, every time... What the fuck? I don't like that one. Give me another. Uh... I need, I need this to be like... More stupid. This is just like, hey, do you want to be an asshole? It's like, yeah, you can have someone, you can control any bodily function of someone, but every time you do it, it also happens to someone else randomly. So you're just doubling up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, do you, it's like, do you use your power to be a double asshole or nothing? Like, <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm trying- you know what? I'm gonna think of a hypothetical. I'm gonna use my brain. You can do that? No. Alright, I'm gonna completely improv this. You ready? You ready, Ryan? Okay. Alright, so imagine- Imagine you wake up one morning, right? It's, uh, you know, 6 a.m. on a- on a nice- on a nice Tuesday. You- you don't have work. Steve, if you do, pretend you don't. Um... It's so big. <laughs> that is really huge. Alright, but- you wake up and and your dad is like, "Oh, good good morning, smart. I made you your." He would never. <laughs> Stop, okay, pretend you have a nice dad. <laughs> it's like, "Good morning, smart. I made you your your favorite bacon and eggs." And he, uh, you know, there's bacon and eggs on on the table. W what do you do? <laughs> That's it. That's the whole hypothetical. What do you do? Hey, he just makes me a good breakfast. Yeah, your nice dad makes you a good breakfast. What would you do with this wacky <laughs> scenario? <laughs> I got a skill point for it. Hey, there's a cobweb up there. Cool. Hey. Hell yeah. You have to answer this interesting scenario. What would you do? Uh, I like breakfast. You, you would eat it? Breakfast. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you're dead. Uh, son, are you alright? <laughs> breakfast. Son, I, I'm very worried about you. Can you, <laughs> if you... If you don't answer me, I'm calling, I'm calling an ambulance. <laughs> Hello, 911. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of a hypothetical attack. What would you do if your dad made you bacon and eggs for breakfast? <laughs> that's that's the pinnacle of humor, man. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna think of one. I'm gonna think of one. Alright, what would you do if one day 
one day you woke up and one of your feet was twice the size of, of the other one. So, so you wake up in the morning, you're like, ah, oh, good morning, beautiful world. And, and you, you take off your covers, you know. I think it was like, take off your cock. You take off your cock. Uh, you, you hang it up on the wall and you, you look at your two feet and you got like a size 10 and a size 20 foot. What would you do? <laughs> Sign up for the circus. Sign up for this. All right. So, so they call the circus and they're like, they call the, you call the circus and the guy's like, hello. What would you say to him? Boy, do I got a thing for you. Well, okay, yeah, not sure. What, are you going to fucking tell me? Or? Yeah, so... Uh, uh-huh, I got, go on. I got two very different sized feet. Well, what? okay. I'm one's just, a size 10, one's a size 20. I, I mean, that's cool. I, what, can you do anything with them? Yeah, I can shove them up your ass. The, I'll be right over. <laughs> <laughs> The moment a click happens, you hear, you literally, you hear the click, and then you just hear by your door, you just hear. <laughs> are you, you going to get it? It's, it's, he's not. I, I will open the door for him. Okay, so so the circus man, he, he's like, hello, I'm the ringleader for the Bringling Circus, and I, uh, <laughs> I, I heard you have different sized feet. <laughs> See, this I hate. The window? Yeah. Just get rid of it. That's how a window works. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about Couldn't that. Couldn't fathom That's, the option. Yeah, Dude, I, can you get a full length window and then the shitter facing outward? Uh, <laughs> what would win, uh, glass walls? Wait, all right. So do do the last. Wait, wait. Go back to glass walls. <laughs> Please go back to glass walls. Do the last one. <laughs> All right, what color do you want it? Um, we'll, we'll get back to this wacky hypothetical in a moment. I just want to see if you can do something. <laughs> so, all right, yeah. And then you need to put the shit around facing it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, so put it in, like, this corner. Yeah, so, like, put the toilet where you're looking right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then... <laughs> so everyone can see you. Please. No. <laughs> <laughs> I saw like, I'm like... Morning, Jim. Taking your daily poop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I dare. Did my fucking PC crash? <laughs> I couldn't fathom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that what happened? It couldn't fathom. <laughs> it was a good episode. Oh, not. Okay. So it was, it was the game. Okay. So we should have the footage still, Emergency I would imagine. See you next time on Couch Potatoes. Bye. <laughs>